Hello YouTube. Uh, I got something special for you today. This is my Ithaca Super Single Model 66 12 gauge, but that's not what's so special about it. What I picked up was one of these cartridge adapters in 12 gauge, and this will let me fire 38 Special and 357 Magnum out of the 12 gauge. And I've been practicing with it and getting to see where it is, and as you can see, it's kind of I've been getting used to it. Uh, most of these cl closer targets, closer shots, are on the 15-yard mark, and the farther away ones are 25. And I've kind of gotten it now where I've learned to hold where this gun seems to like to be. It's weird trying to aim a shotgun with a simple bead when you're shooting a small rifle or a small handgun cartridge out of it. So I'm going to set this up again, and these are some of my hand loads that I, I cast bullets quite a while ago, 145 grain cast bullet, cast hollow point, and they're pretty much the equivalent of a 38 with the old 3844, real hot 38 special loads. I used to shoot these out of my 357 Magnum, but we'll give this a shot. I'm going to try it at 20 yards because it seems to, once you get past 25, the accuracy, such as it is, is gone and then uh, we'll show we'll show how it is from 20 yards and go from there all right YouTube here I am at the 20 yard mark with the Ethica super single and the shotgun adapter 12 gauge to the 357 Magnum and 38 special and this is not rifled let's see what happens Okay, YouTube, there you have it. Now you saw the shot. Here it is up close. And if you look, you can see that the bullets were starting to keyhole at 20 yards, which means after 20, 25 yards, the accuracy is pretty much gone. But for what this is, keep in mind this is not meant to be like you're shooting a rifle. There is no... Uh, there is no rifling in this. You're shooting essentially just a little tiny smooth bore. Essentially, in a, I, I want to say it's about the same as what would be a snub nose revolver without, uh, without rifling, like this typical Smith & Wesson J-frame under two inches. So you have to keep that in mind. But for what you're getting, now keep, I paid $26 for this adapter. It was made by Shotgun Adapters. And I believe it's shotgunadapters.com. Don't quote me on that, but I, when I do get the correct link, I'll put it in the description. But you can see what this is. Now, everybody's like, well, gee, it's not much good for anything other than what, you know, 25 yards, handgun. You're missing the picture. In a situation where you might run out of shotgun ammo, a couple of these in different calibers, like 357, 9mm, 45, something like that, you have a gun that is no longer out of service. You have a gun, if you happen to run out of shotgun ammo, you can still use. And another good thing is if you wanted to train like a younger shooter on the fundamentals of holding or pointing a shotgun, this wouldn't be bad because you could get a 410 adapter, a 20 gauge adapter, so on and so forth. But for a crap hits the fan scenario, this is an excellent thing to have especially if you happen to have a shotgun. Now, granted, again, this isn't going to be something you're going to want to have as a primary defense thing, but if you have a shotgun and you no longer have ammo, and you pick up a box of 9mm and you happen to have the adapter, you're back in business. Granted, it's one round at a time, but you're still able to shoot. And I'll tell you, I've probably fired close to 50 rounds out of this, the extraction is excellent. I, you, one or two cases I had to tap out, but most of them you can just take out with your fingernail. And these are some fairly hotter loads with lead bullets, cast lead bullets. And you see the results. Again, this is 20 yards. I had to hold down probably, I was holding the bead probably about four or five inches underneath the square to get these results. Again, your shotgun is going to be different than mine test it see what it does but for 26 dollars 
guys you can't go wrong here so again keep this in mind have a good day youtube